Carson Company allegedly releasing a toxic gas into the air. The Air Quality Management District issuing a notice of violation to Parter Sterilization Services after regulators found high levels of that gas surrounding their facility. It's a medical sterilization company on Kingsview Avenue in Carson. CBS 2's Candace Crone spoke to those who live and breathe right where that toxic gas has repeatedly been found. This is the one you worry about. <laughs> Oh, no, you know, you mostly worry about the kids, you know, because they're outside trying to play and breathe in this air. Leonardo Childs is especially concerned about his family's health after learning a Carson company just a block from his neighborhood has been flagged by the Air Quality Management District. Officials say Parter Sterilization Services has been releasing a toxic gas into the air called ethylene oxide at levels well above the AQMD's threshold, which poses a health risk to the public. You worry about your health. And my health, I'm getting up in age, but my grandkids is what I really care about. They're making money by being here, so they need to be more responsible. Air quality officials issued a notice of violation to the company after samples of the air showed high levels of the gas. Hundreds of homes and even an elementary school are within 2,000 feet of the facility. People exposed to the gas may experience headaches, nausea, and vomiting, among other symptoms. But long-term exposure to ethylene oxide can lead to cancer. There's a lot of ways for us to get exposed to cancer and, you know, long-term diseases. And I don't think that it's okay that these companies do this. The AQMB says it is working with the company to reduce emissions. This is the second time in almost a year where Carson residents have dealt with breathing in toxic air. Last October, many residents were sickened by a toxic odor from the Dominguez Channel, which was linked to a Carson warehouse. Neighbors hope in this latest incident, swift action is taken to ensure their safety. I think that they could do better because we live now in a society where there's a lot of options, a lot of healthy, clean options that can keep people safe. Reporting in Carson, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. Well, we did reach out to that company, but so far have not heard back. The mayor of Carson saying it must be held accountable and the city will help where it can.